Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this azure devops tutorial series today let's discuss about what is library in azure pipelines so if i navigate to my pipelines tab there is an option called library here so once i click on library you can see i have couple of tabs here one is variable groups and secured files okay before going to that in general let's try to understand what library is okay library is a collection of build and release assets for a devops project right okay so you if you are trying to build a project here my project name is project online devops demo right so if i am trying to have some assets for my project which i need to be stored securely in those situations i can use something called libraries okay assets which are defined in the library can be used in a multiple build and release pipelines within that project okay you can easily store all the required assets that is required for your project in a secured fashion inside your libraries under variable groups and secure files okay for now let's focus only on variable groups in this video i will try to make a separate one for secure files all right so uh, all the security related details with regards to library is actually handled here in the security tab okay so in the security tab you have an option to Uh, control all the roles and response roles for your particular team okay so you can give individual access to uh, people like who and all want to access the library items uh, what kind of membership you want to provide to the particular team so those kind of security roles can be assigned here in the security tab for library okay so let's try to understand let's let's look at an example of what variable group is and then uh, let's see how we can use this variable group in our pipeline all right so let me click on this variable group button here or you can click the one which is at the top too so i'm clicking this one so i can give a any meaningful name for my variable group let's let me call it as variable group 1 for now okay all right so if you want to provide any description also you can give that for now uh, since it is optional i'm leaving it as it is and then you can there is an option called link secrets from an azure key vault uh, so this is a, again a separate topic uh, let me discuss about this in our upcoming videos for now let's try to understand this concept and how we can use it in our pipeline so the basic flow would uh, give you a real time experience about how to actually use variable groups in the pipelines all right So now under the variables tab you have an option to add the variables okay let me uh, have a variables called username okay you are providing a value called um let me call it as azure devops and you can provide something called password all right so password let it be 1 2 3 4 5 okay here if you look at the right hand side we have an option to lock it okay change sec variable type to secret okay you can see a lock symbol here so here i have one currently it is unlocked you can see the lock is in an opened fashion which shows it is unlocked in case if you want to lock it you can just click on this lock symbol it will lock it okay you can see so once we lock it you can uh, clearly view the val value is hidden okay similarly if you want to lock this one also you can lock this now the value is hidden okay so this way what you can do is you can actually store your secret values for example if there are any sensitive uh, information that is available in your project you don't want to share it with the entire team who is using your pipeline in those kind of situation you can use this uh, option called variable group and lock it here in this you variable tab in case if i unlock okay so there is an option to unlock to once i unlock you can see i can view it i am unlocking it so you can view the number here okay so this is a simple way of creating variables you can create multiple variables in your variable group tab okay for now i am happy with this too so let me save this okay so um uh, i want to use this variables in my azure pipeline okay so if since the pipeline is already available you can provide 
the permissions here you can go to the pipeline permissions tab and click on the add pipeline and you can provide the pipeline name here okay for now what i'm going to do is for easier understanding i'm going to create a new pipeline okay so let me create a new pipeline let me create a new blank yaml pipeline this one all right i don't need all these things for now let me create a basic pipeline which will actually help you understand how to use this variable groups let me use pool we have been using the azure pipelines pool in our previous videos too right so probably i will use the same here too pool name is let me call it as azure pipelines next now comes the actual uh thing we have to use variables why is it not showing the suggestion then probably i'm doing some mistake variables yeah and our variables i can provide the group name hyphen group so what is the way group name that we created it is variable group one right variable uh did i use variable okay for now as a best practice i'm gonna not leave space within this i'm copying this so my group name is variable group one and just to understand the difference between how the value is hidden in our uh, variable group i'm gonna show you another example by adding a name here too so in this name i'm gonna give you something called username one okay so this is something different from your uh, value that is actually present in our library variable groups tab okay so here let me what did i say so value value what let's give something called azure pipeline okay and then let's add a step to and then let me add a script let me call it as echo let me try to print this you user name is i'm going to call that variable called user name okay so this is the variable name which i used in the variable group you can look at the user name spelling user name yeah this is the one oops this is user name where is it and here again i'm gonna provide echo user name is dollar user name one okay now let me give some display name to it let display name we call can call we can call it as credentials for now all right so now i'm happy with this so what i did is so i am running it in azure pipelines pool and i've created a variables tab here and i'm using this variable parameter i mentioning what group it is the name of the variable group is variable group one which we have created here and uh, the name what we are using here is i just want to show you an example how it actually works in real time when you do not use variable group okay so for that i have mentioned a name called username one and the value i have provided as azure pipeline but i am when i am printing it when i am uh, printing it i am printing both the variables like the one which i declared here and the one which we used in the variable group okay so now let me save this now 
the pipeline is now creating and the job will run in a while let's go to our job lines yeah here is a catch here is the catch if you look at this this pipeline needs permission to access resource before this can run can continue okay so if i view this you can provide the permissions here in your pipelines tab or else you can go to your pipeline permission in your variable group and you can add it here so this is the one which you created pipeline uh, demo one okay so this is the one you can provide permissions here too okay if you refresh it it will work here i think this is already done yeah now my job started running okay this is something important to note you can either provide the permissions during runtime here but in real time uh, good as a best practice i would suggest you to provide it in the pipeline permissions tab itself okay now let's let's look at our uh, job yeah now it ran successfully if i go to my credentials tab you can clearly note something here first one first one what we have here is it printed echo username is azure devops and username is azure pipeline here it printed without any issues like you know it, it is not hidden okay it directly printed for you where else in case if you wanna hide the, for some reason you do not want to show this okay so what you can do is you can go here and lock it so username is currently unlocked so once i lock it okay let me you lock the username alone because we are just printing username alone right so i'm saving it once i've saved this we can go and rerun this pipeline again i'm gonna run it again run let me go to my job so now my job will kick start in a while yeah now if you go to my credentials tab you can note the difference here in our previous example the username got printed directly so the value was visible where else in this case the value is not visible it is hidden okay the reason is because we locked the variable username here okay so in case in real time whenever you are dealing with some sensitive data and you know you do not want any one of your uh, colleagues uh, and you want to take control of the security of your pipeline in those kind of situation you can use this simple option called variable groups and use the and call that variable groups in your pipeline okay so uh, this is how you can work with variable groups under library in azure pipe azure devops um i hope you guys understood how variable group works so this is a very basic and simple example so i can show multiple ways of working with variable groups uh, in our upcoming videos for now uh, if you understand this basic it should be more than enough um so yeah in our upcoming videos we'll discuss more in detail about variable group and the other tab which is uh, called secured files too okay so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys If you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you